Hey there, everybody. We're up against River Plate today in the first round of uh, the Europa League. I guess our first uh, group match is what we should say. And um, it looks like uh, more of the same out there for us. We're going to um, veer off here for a second, take a look at some of the stats so far from the league season. Uh, our attacking stats, of course, look excellent. We're one of the most clinical teams in the league. But on defense, it's another story. We look pretty, pretty bad defensively. And so we'll take a look here and see if we can't come up with a better defensive performance today. And uh, see what we can do on the road again, or Augsburg. And uh, let's see if we can get another road win. And uh, as you know, it's been difficult for us so far. And there's Ronaldo up behind the defense. And he misses once. And then he allows Milan Golic to come over and score it after Ronaldo set it up. What is up with that? That's one of the most bizarre highlights I've ever seen. So we do score um, inside of 30 seconds here in Argentina. But what is this? Ronaldo has it. He's onside. He shoots and hits the post. And then he taps it over for Golic, uh, who then scores the goal instead of tapping it in, in himself. I mean, have you ever seen anything like it? So there you have it. And it's 1-0 uh, for Augsburg. And uh, let's see what we can do here to get this ball back and score a little bit more. 1-0 here in the early going, and they've come back right away with an attack. And what was I telling you about the defense? We have some problems in the back. Uh, Europa League this year for Augsburg because uh, we didn't win enough to get in the actual Champions League proper. That's hard to get into, let alone to win. Maradona takes I can't find more. Here's Golic, however, and this is knocked up and out. I don't think that we're favorites to win the Europa League, but we're favorites to uh, advance pretty deep, and I think Pele is favored to be the uh, lead scorer of the league. And so we'll see what we can do. We have to get the ball to him first, uh, and it's Korea taking the shot. And that's been one of the problems that we've had. <clears throat> Our Segundo Volantes, who are a little bit uh, young, uh, love to take shots from range, and uh, that's not necessarily what we want them to do. <clears throat> it was Golic again, who just about uh, stole another one away. <clears throat> take another quick look at this, and uh, it was a really, really poor clearance there by Roberto, but uh, Golic, unfortunately, was not able to really uh, punish him for it. Not an extraordinarily difficult group for us. Uh, you'd figure that we'd be able to uh, win this group uh, pretty handedly. It's once we get out of the group phase that the difficulty comes. Ronaldo passes for Golic, who I think was uh, perhaps offside anyway. I suppose not. And there's Rackliff going back, winning that over to Moore. Bobby Moore in the, mat, in the back, over to Maradona, Korea, back to Ronaldo, over to Ratcliffe, and so we'll try again. Golic forward for Cristiano Ronaldo. Comes with Golic, and his shot is deflected. So Milan Golic already with a goal, and he's uh, knocking on the door for another one, and uh, we, look, um, we look certainly like a superior side here. We can handle teams around this level. It's when we get to some of the harder teams, as we saw yesterday against Ajax. That's when things become a little bit more dicey. Kerkos wins this over to Ronaldo. He holds it up and then uh, puts on the afterburners again. And there's Golic. And that was almost number two again. I can't tell you how many shots on goal Milan Golic has had already. 25 minutes into this match. Maradona now. And uh, that is headed, hit away, I should say. And uh, once again, we saw Shahid just taking a shot from range without any thought about who was around him. Uh, it uh, didn't hurt us, but it uh, wasn't exactly what we wanted to do. This is lumped up and way over. Mendez wins it over to Cristiano Ronaldo and then to Ratcliffe. So we'll try again. Korea down to Maradona. Over for Golic. Maradona and his shot is saved. Mendez ends up with this here in the back and uh, doesn't really do very much with it. Mendez has, um, he still has a lot to learn. He hasn't uh, been performing all that well for us uh, recently, though I think that he's improving. And it's Korea who wins this uh, in midfield. Moore over to Kerkez, back to Moore. Kerkez, has, of course, been a breath of fresh air and he is not one of the legendary players. He's just a 19-year-old player that we found somewhere or other. And he's not injured anymore. Golic, I, I'm not sure why he gave up on that one. It looked like he ran the wrong way. So another kind of bizarre highlight. But not as strange as the uh, visions of uh, Ronaldo giving up a potential goal to uh, Golic for really no reason. That was 
That's the strangest thing I've seen in a long time, and uh, there's Yashin with another really, really poor pass. Unfortunately, he's able to make the save. He's had a rough time of it as well. Now, he is improving. He's probably the best um, at uh, training that we have, but uh, we need to see a little bit better than that. We're about uh, 46, maybe 47 minutes into this match. We have the one nothing lead, though it's not quite as comfortable as we'd like it to be. And fortunately, uh, we don't give up much of a shot on goal there, and so we do make it to half time. And uh, I guess we're sort of happy with what's going on. Bobby Moore not having the best match. And uh, we'll leave them out there and let them see what they can do. So they start passing it back and forth there in the bag. And, I mean, if they want to hold on to possession and just play like this all day long, I will let them. That's perfectly fine. And that's the end of the highlight, as expected. Here's uh, Maradona lumping this over Ratcliffe, and he can't get head on to it. Korea ends up winning this in the back. Over to Mendes. And it's taken away from him quickly, and we've seen that happen a lot. So, Mendes, again, young, young player, um, fast, and uh, has some learning to do. Maradona wanted, tried to find Ronaldo, and couldn't. Well, we're doing well in sort of keeping up with them, although that wasn't very good. And Yashin with the save, thankfully. Knocks it up and over the ball. Starting to wonder if Bobby Moore isn't feeling a little bit tired there in the back. He's played a lot of matches recently. Rackliff heads this up and away. Mendez can't quite get there. And there it is. Jose Manuel Moreno, and it's 1-1. And so, as we said at the outset, the offense looks powerful. The defense looks like that. 1-1. Here they come again. Herrera Gomez to Moreno again, and he's got the angle, but it was deflected. Somebody was in front of him. I'm not sure who it was. That was Ratcliffe there that time who was able to uh, get in front of him and prevent the damage from being done. Korea wins this. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, that is. Looking for Maradona, couldn't find him. Characters over to Korea, and he misses it completely. And Rackliff's been beaten, and we're down 2-1. Wow. So not what I was expecting here. After we got that goal less than 30 seconds in, I thought for sure we'd have this one in the bag. Rackliff just makes a mistake, and uh, there's not much we can do about that. We need to change. We need to change what's going on here defensively for us because that was bad. Bobby Moore having an awful game. We'll put Simeu back on. Ratcliffe will be off for Fagan Walcott, and so uh, we'll take the legends off since um, they uh, haven't been doing anything at all, and uh, see if this uh, doesn't help us. I think that we're doing fine in the front, except we just can't find that finishing touch. Mendez over to Korea. I tell you, with a little bit more luck, you'd already have a hat trick for Golic. Instead, we're down two one. And here they come again. And nobody gets on spot. Well, that's going to um, not be knocked out for a corner, so we'll take the uh, two biggest defenders off. See what we can do. Kerkes heads that one out. We're 55 minutes into this match, and it's uh, definitely a crucial moment. We've given up... No, that's a goal kick. Oh, we gave up a corner for nothing. And they have him in a dangerous position once again. And we do turn it over the ball. Good job by Yasha. And that's up and over as well. So uh, we are able to see off their attack. Got about a half hour left here to uh, get things turned around. We're getting to that time in the match. Simeu with this here in the back. Maradona. 
back to Simei. Lumped over for Kerkes. It's not a great pass, but it's good enough. And how did Ronaldo miss that one? I mean, really, how did he miss this one? So we're going to take a bit of a change here after, after this uh, highlight. I don't know what he's trying to do. He had a bizarre miss at the beginning of the game. Um, I guess it was off the post, but uh, he should have shot again. Cristiano Ronaldo is absolutely furious. We'll put uh, Daniel James on. Um, Ronaldo will come off as well. And uh, I'm looking through this. I think Pele was injured last game, if I remember right. So we'll put uh, Boom Kun Cha on again and uh, see if we don't get a little bit of help from uh, our good Korean friend. That means that we've made four substitutions, and uh, this is a little bit worrisome. And uh, we only have about 15 minutes left to try to eke out maybe a draw. And we did really, really poorly in the uh, Conference League last season. Um, and uh, we would like to do a little bit better here since we went out and got all these players, and uh, it's not looking like it. Where they were with the shot after we're advancing quickly. Still 15 minutes left. Bobby Moore, the really, really poor performance out there today. I think he's taking the blame for both of those goals. Fortunately for us, that was headed up high, but uh, we only have a couple minutes left and we can't even get the ball. Yashin jumps and uh, saves that one, and now what's he going to do with it? He actually throws it this time instead of trying to boot it down the field, and then Shahid gives up possession simply. And uh, it's Fagan Walcott making the uh, header to save that and knock it out. There's Yashin with another brilliant save, and so the defense still looks like it's struggling. Well, I don't know what to say about that one. They've disallowed it, thankfully. Barely, though. I mean, <laughs> I feel like we were uh, pretty lucky there. Quite fortunate. And they've won another corner. Well, if this turns out to be a loss, and it's looking increasingly like it, it's going to be one of those losses where we really rip on the team afterwards, because this was an absolutely ridiculous performance. And it doesn't mean that all is lost in the Europa League, but um, this has been pretty, pretty poor. We should have had more than just the first goal after 30 seconds. There's Korea. Let's see if we can get something done. Over to James. And Golic had a chance, but it was deflected, so it'll be a corner. Corner doesn't do much. James comes down with it here. Try it again. Doesn't work again. Four minutes of added time. And Mendez comes down with this. Still have time. Korea to Cha. Cha Bum Bum to James. Golic and it's Chahid, and that's part of the problem. I'm not so convinced that we want Chahid to be taking these shots. I mean, who's he have right there? Well, I guess it's Korea, so that's the other one we don't necessarily want. But to work it into uh, Cha, he's actually scored. They're just going to take their sweet time, and that's going to be it. 
So uh, Augsburg ended up losing this one, the match that we definitely should have won. And boy, that's a pretty embarrassing uh, loss for us. So uh, there you have it. Augsburg start off the uh, Europa League the wrong way. And this is going to be a real interesting competition, I'll tell you that. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.